Hey guys, Ben here from the Fiberglass Factory. Today we're going to be talking about releasing parts from moulds. But before we do that, if you could hit the subscribe button, that'd be fantastic. So we've got a few different products here that we use. And these are in relation to uh, pulling parts off used moulds or pulling parts off brand new moulds or unknown moulds. Okay, so when we're pulling um, parts off used moulds, it's a regular thing. We we'll just use a silicon based wax, which is uh, this honey wax release agent that we get from our local fiberglass supplier. But when we're making brand new parts off a brand new mould that um, may have, won't have ever been used, or we buy a mould off someone, we don't know when, how long it's been since it's uh, been waxed or it's, it's unknown to us, then we'll do a different system where we use a non silicon based wax which is uh, this TR108, which is what we use, that's the product, and then we'll PVA over the top of that. So polyvinyl alcohol, alcohol is what that stands for, and we apply that by spraying. If we're just waxing the mould, then that just gets applied by itself. If we're doing it to a brand new mould, then it'll be the TR and the PVA over the top. So we'll apply the TR wax, which I'll show you shortly, and then we'll spray the PVA uh, once, once we've buffed that off and got that ready, we'll spray the PVA as well, and that's like an extra insurance protection to make sure the part's going to come out well and not going to have a problem with getting it out of the mould, which can be damaging to both the mould and the part. Uh, here's just a few different uh, tools that we use for demoulding. Uh, we'll use a, a spatula just to get just to pry our way in there, and then we'll use plastics after that. When we're demoulding parts, uh, it's very important that we use materials that are softer than the, the fiberglass because if we use harder than the fiberglass like this steel spatula and run, a, run that around the mould then that's going to scratch it. So we use soft things like plastic that doesn't damage the mould or damage the part so that's why we do that. Uh, with PVA there's other ways to apply it. You can brush it on or you can uh, wipe it on just with a rag You'll get it on a lot thicker by brushing, but you'll end up with lines, with very faint lines in it. So depending on how rough, uh, you know, how much sanding you're prepared to do to clean up the part, that could be an option for you. But I would say that you must do that in very warm temperatures because of how thick it'll go on, it'll want to run everywhere if you're um, brushing it on in, a, in cold temperatures. Uh, wiping on. You'll, you'll, want to be a, you'll still want to wipe on lots of coats because it wipes on quite thin. So that's why we spray because yeah, we can build it up and we're not wiping off the existing stuff that's already on there. It can be a little bit tricky. Now I'm going to show you the process for uh, waxing, which is going to be exactly the same for both waxes. And then I'm going to show you the process for spraying PBA. Alright, so this is a process for waxing a mould and this is the process we'll use for waxing a well cured mould, well used, uh, not a brand new mould or an unknown mould. Okay, so we just get a little bit of wax on our rag and we wipe it over the part. You really don't need a lot of wax if the mould's been well used because there's already wax on there. It's not like you have to put a whole lot of wax on it every time. The wax that's in this rag is enough to do this whole mould. Okay, making sure we cover it all. Now we're going to leave that to haze a little bit, then we're going to wipe it off. This gets rid of the excess and it stops, or well, it helps to stop wax build up on moulds, which is a uh, can be a little bit of a trouble for well used moulds um, but also it, it'll produce a better finish if you make sure that wax is wiped off because you're getting a, a truer replication of the mould. It's a good idea to wax the edge of your moulds as well. That helps to release anything that gets on the edge after you've made a part or gel coated. Alright so this is a well cured mould uh, we've probably pulled in excess of 30 or 40 parts out of this mould. So it's at its full cure and uh, you could easily go one 
pull without wax um, on a well cured mould and a well used mould. But we just wax every time just to make sure that nothing ever gets missed. Okay, here's the demoulding process for this part. We just give it a light twist and then the part just almost falls out. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you how we apply PVA. Where we spray PVA on uh, just because it produces a better finish than wiping or brushing. We've already waxed our part and we've used a, a non silicon based wax, and that will mean that the PVA doesn't sort of bead up and um, go funny on us. You can use it with a silicon based wax, but it certainly doesn't work as well. That wax will sort of do funny things on the surface of your mold, so you really want to try and get a non silicon based wax that you're PVAing over the top of. So here we go, we've just got a cheap spray gun and then we're just going to be spraying this PVA on in an even film. Uh, also, temperature is very critical here because this is an air dry product. So if the temperature is lower than 20 degrees, uh, it's going to be very difficult. You have to spray it very thin and lots and lots of coats. Ideally, you want to be spraying outside in the sunshine uh, at over 20 degrees, that would be ideal. And then you don't, you're not gonna come across some of the issues that you might face uh, with um, PVA, trying to spray it in colder temperatures. Okay, here we go. That's one coat. And we leave that until it's gone off. And we do that about four or five or six times depending on uh, how thick we can get it down, depending on the temperature. This one hasn't had a pull off it before, so this is a brand new mould, so we're still breaking it in. Now I've got this tiny little spatula that I use, and this is purely just to get in, in the gap, because it's pretty hard to get your plastics in there. <clears throat> Once you've got that in there, then you go to plastic after that, because you don't want to be scratching things. Bear in mind that the first pull of any mould is going to be the hardest one. Here we go. And beautiful release. As you can see, here's the PVA. This was sprayed on with six coats of PVA, okay? It's very, very fine stuff. It was a cold day when we sprayed it, so we actually sprayed it in our oven, and you can only, you can only spray it down thin, otherwise uh, it runs, and it's hard to work with. So that's why we put six coats down. That's sort of our minimum, and if it's a nicer day, then we'll spray it out in the sun and then we can get it down a little bit thicker and, we, and um, it's great. The thicker you can get it down, the less likely you're going to have of have, having any problems. I'll show you how to uh, get the remaining PVA off. So just, uh, this is a water based product, so just water. You peel off the any leftovers and just wash off the last little bit. Just dissolves in water. Clean up your mould, get it ready for the next use. Once you've cleaned up the mould, clean up your part. Sometimes you have to just get it wet and let, let the water do the work, let it dissolve it a bit. I hope this has been helpful for you. Uh, reach out to us if you've got any more questions and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you on the next one.